Hi, my name is Tilius Barry Fosch. I'm going to show you our protein crystallization facility at Uppsala University. Begin by collecting all the materials you will need for setting up the experiment. Today, we're using a 24 well plate and we will put sitting drop inserts into the plate. Today, I will put just three inserts into the plate. Now add the reservoir solution to the wells of the plate. Don't splash on the inserts. About 500 microliters is enough. Now you add the protein to the insert. Today we've dyed the protein red to make it easier to see it. The next step, take the same volume say two microliters, and add it to the protein from the reservoir. Avoid air bubbles. Now seal it with PCR film or the tape of your choice. Now we'll demonstrate how to do the same thing but as a hanging drop. For this we're going to use keogen plates. Put the reservoir solution into the reservoir and the protein will go onto the lid. Two microliters of red protein. Now add the reservoir solution, two microliters, to the protein. Once again, avoid air bubbles. Here, instead of a PCR sealer, the silicone ring is what seals the drop. Flip it over, Screw it in place and you're done. That's a hanging drop. Now let's take a look at the same thing with a robotic setup. Begin by transferring the screening solution or reservoir solution from the deep web block into an MRC robot plate. You'll need about 50 microliters of the screening solution into the MRC plate. Now transfer the plate to its position on the robot deck. The next step is to add the protein itself. Once again, we've dyed it red. Add the protein itself to the robot deck in its proper position. You need about 15 microliters to do a 96 well plate with the robot. Now let's zoom in and look at how the robot picks up the protein solution. Once again, we've dyed it red and it adds it to the plate in the proper position. The next step after it delivers the protein is to suck up the reservoir solution and add it to the protein solution. Then you seal the plate, add a barcode and wait. How long should you wait? It takes anywhere from hours to days to weeks for the crystals to grow. Here's an example after just three days. Once your crystal's grown, then you can harvest it. Cut away with a scalpel the plastic film. You only want to open one well at a time. Pick up the crystal loop mounted on a magnetic pen and go fishing under the microscope. Once you've captured the crystal in the loop, Plunge it immediately into the liquid nitrogen and you're done.